Now here we've got a little mini split that I picked up and I thought this one would make a good demonstration of something. This one has sat out for a few days uh, so, and it rained, so we assume there's moisture in the system. Now, to make sure there is moisture in the system, we're going to pull a vacuum on it. Now, I've got the vacuum pump down there, and I've got the gauge set up here. Now, I'm going to turn on that vacuum pump and pull this as deep as I can get it. Okay, when I've got it as deep as I can get it, we'll come back to this. Now you can see here, it's showing stable. It's probably going to drop into 599 or something here pretty soon. But it is, it's pretty close to a deep vacuum, but it doesn't seem to want to go much below than what it is right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to valve off the vacuum pump. That is just turn off the valve at the vacuum pump and we're going to watch this thing and I'll start a st uh, stopwatch and see how long it takes to get to the moisture level. There is a moisture level in microns and we'll go over that when we get there. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that off now. I've started the uh, stopwatch and while I'm waiting for this to happen, what we really should have happen here is it should go up somewhere between 1,000 and 1,500 microns and stay there. If it goes up to that point and stays there, that means there's moisture in the system. It doesn't tell you how much moisture is in the system, but it does tell you there's moisture in the system. If it goes up higher, if it goes up to where it uh, uh, goes up to atmospheric pressure, that's a leak. But this one's fairly illustrative of what would happen if there's moisture. So we'll get back to you once this thing levels out. It looks like it's pretty well stabilized. Uh, you note this thing says stable and it. it's still going up a little bit, but it's 1123 right now. You can see it's about 3 minutes and 52 seconds, uh, figure about 4 minutes until we reach that uh, 1100 level. What's happening here is the moisture is boiling off because of the low pressure in the system, but once that pressure gets up to the boiling point of the water in the system, it just kind of stops. That's why we come to that 1,000 to 1,500 microns. If it stops in that area, don't be looking for a leak. That is moisture in the system. Now, about the only thing you can do, if it's a small system, you can do a long evacuation. I'm not a big fan of long evacuations, so uh, I don't know that I'd do that. But you can put a new filter dryer in this thing. Now, if you know that there's a lot of moisture in it, the filter dryer, you can put it in, but you'll have to pull it out and replace it. This is a small system that was exposed to moisture for a couple of days. It's an R22 system, so the oil is not hygroscopic, and so it's not a real huge problem. If, even if it was, it would be the same solution. New oversized liquid line dryer. That will probably clean this thing up. So that's all on this one.